Hello! I feel like I always get the urge to start vlogs at night, so I start out all <laughs> in the dark. I decided to start a finishing seven books in seven days vlog. I will not be starting to finishing seven books. I am going to try to finish the five books on my currently reading and then also read two more. So I'm just really getting the urge to clear out my currently reading again. I did that in the last reading challenge and it was so strangely satisfying. I could have finished a book today, my Spanish audiobook that I am listening to called Rojo. I only have half an hour left, but I'm not going to use my time that I have available to read before I go to sleep doing that when I could just finish that on my commute tomorrow. So a lot of these are kind of long for this challenge, so I'm not going to try to necessarily finish a book every single day. If I finish, you know, two in one day and zero in another day, that's totally fine. I just, by the end of this challenge, want to have finished seven books. So I have a middle grade book that I'm reading right now, The Golden Frog Games, which is the sequel to Witchlings, which I absolutely adored. So I'm about 35% through that. Hello. So it is Monday. I finished... Rojo on the way to work, and then I started a new audiobook. I'm reading uh, Perfume by Patrick Suskind. Um, so <laughs> I'm almost two hours into that, which is only like nine hours long. It's fine so far. I'm listening to it in Spanish, so I'm definitely not getting like the full experience. Um, but <laughs> I think I am just way too incapable of being serious sometimes for certain books. So like, if you're not familiar, the premise of this book is that it's a, a serial killer, I think, who is obsessed with the perfect human scent, perfect female scent, I don't know. Um, and <laughs> the whole time, like, all I could think of is all these jokes about, like, damn, couldn't he have just, like, stopped at JC Penny and picked up some Viva La Juicy or something like that? <laughs> like, it's set in, like, the 1800s. Um, yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> so I think I'm going to try to finish the Witchlings book today. It's probably the one that I'm closest to finishing, I'm guessing. I would also like to read some of another book because if I don't move these Spanish books along all week, they are definitely not getting finished. So if I could read some Isabel Allende along with it, we shall see. Finished The Golden Frog Games. Very, very cute. I didn't like it quite as much as the first book, but still thoroughly enjoyed, still recommend. It definitely set up a third book, so that's good. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I only have a little bit before I need to go to sleep, so I'll figure something out. Hello, it is Tuesday, I think. Yeah, it's Tuesday. And I just finished the Pinochet file book. In my video last week, I kept putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. I think I was saying Pinochet instead of Pinochet, and now that's gonna haunt me forever. I did skim a little bit towards the end of this book because it's talking a lot about all of the, you know, extraditing and court cases and all of the declassification stuff. Oh, but another thing that I got wrong in that video was that I said that the book was written by an NSA analyst, and it's not wrong necessarily, but it's the National Security Archive, not the National Security Agency, so I have no idea why they would choose a name that similar, but um, not the same thing which makes a whole lot more sense as to why this book exists. Um, highly, highly recommend this book, at least a, you know, cursory reading of it. So, so informative about, 
you know, U.S. international affairs, the things that the U.S. has done all throughout Latin America, but specifically, obviously, in this case, Chile. Appalling, absolutely just so awful. Anyway, other progress. I started an audiobook at work called Not So Perfect Strangers. It is a thriller by L.S. Stratton, and uh, yeah, so far it is very, very interesting. I'm only like 13% in. I am 43% through Perfume, my Spanish audiobook, and it's okay. It's kind of a storytelling format that I am not able to appreciate fully, I think, in Spanish yet. Like, um, wordy literary is something that I still kind of struggle with, especially just listening to it. Um, so yeah, I enjoy it, but I'm also finding that I'm kind of tuning it out sometimes and I have to go back <laughs> and re-listen to parts. Uh, we are on track so far because we have read, we have finished three books and we are on the third day. I do have four books started, like four more books going, but I kind of have a lot of some of these books left, so we shall see. I will check back in, obviously, tomorrow. Hello! So it is Thursday. I just got home from work and the dentist. So updates. I do have quite a few updates. So first update is I DNF'd Perfume by Patrick Swisskind. And the really pathetic thing is that I got to 80%. I was at 81%. And I was listening to it while I was driving around to appointments this morning at work, and I just was like, I don't want to listen to this anymore. Um, so, I do, like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you've read it and if you think it would be worth it to give another chance at some point in the future. I had been really bored this whole time, and that is, like, a common thing. I was reading reviews of the book. It's a common thing that, like, there's three parts of the book, and the first part, people are like, okay, the second part is boring, and then the third part, like, shit hits the fan. And so I was in the third part, um, and then, this is a very, very mild spoiler, so skip ahead, like, ten seconds if you don't want it. It's not a spoiler for the plot, but it's just something that happens. This guy wants to fuck his daughter, like, there's this whole section about how much he wants to bang his daughter. And I just was like, no, no. Um, and yeah, I was done. And once I'm done, like my brain, <laughs> it is like holding the, the same ends of the magnet together, trying to get my brain to pay attention to something once it has decided that it is no longer going to do that. So I was like, mm. I'll just quit. So I did actually count it as a book read because, I mean, again, I got 81% through it. So I listened to the length of, like, some of books. The other audiobook that I'm listening to, the one in English called Not So Perfect Stranger, I think, I am really, really enjoying. I think I'm about 60... 60 or 65 percent through. So yeah, I think I'm going to take a nap. I have a headache and I am just so sleepy. But then time for some serious reading because I have a lot of my last two books to read. Like a lot. So. <sighs> okay, so it is Friday. I just got done with work and so. I finished the audiobook Not So Perfect Strangers while I was working today, and uh, it was very, very good. I really enjoyed it. A very good thriller. If you like just kind of quick, easy thriller audiobooks, that one is a solid, solid choice. So I am a little nervous because... <laughs> So I have approximately two hours left of reading Carrie Soto, maybe slightly less depending on how focused I am. And then I have six hours left of the audiobook of Hija de la Fortuna. Um, I am listening to it on 1.25 speed and, you know, reading along with it. So it should only be about five hours, I think. Um, 
but that's still close to seven hours over the next two days, today and Saturday. I am going to read some more of this, but I definitely need a nap, so I fully expect to read like four pages and then fall asleep, so that's fine. That's, you know, that's what Fridays are for. Oh, don't mind me just <laughs> crying over this tennis book. Um, yeah, so I finished it. Um, yeah. Hello. It is Saturday, so today should be the last day. Um... I'm not going to pretend that I am feeling the most like reading like four hours of this book today, but I am feeling very motivated to finish because this arrived yesterday and I want to read it so badly. <laughs> like the amount that I want to just drop everything and read this is sickening. So that is giving me the motivation that I need to finish. So today, if I can finish this book, then tomorrow I can start reading Yellow Face. So I am going to do it, hopefully. It's already almost 12.30. I filmed a video this morning and it was a very quick one, so I was able to edit it. And then I got some Starbucks for, for strength. Um, I don't really get Starbucks. Uh, very often, but it just sounded really good. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start reading now.